I've only got a couple minutes before my kids wake up from a nap, so uh, I wanted to show you this. Uh, if we're going to be making sort of a steampunk scene, we need a steampunk gear, or two, or three, or more. So uh, this is the one that I want to show you right here. Put it in a circle and make it five, like that. Come in, and we are going to have those points selected. Shift Control B and pull just to make them spread apart like that. Select the whole thing, E and S. Come on into the middle there. In edge selection, select these outer edges. I'm going to go into median point, E and S. Bring them out as far as you want. Something like that. In individual origins, hit S to scale and make them kind of straight like that. One for vertex selection, select these vertices, F to make a face, F to make a face. Do that all the way around. So we now have that. In edge selection, select that edge and this one, F, F. I mean, this would make a, a cool sci-fi uh, design as well. Maybe door or something like that. F to make a face like that. Now shift alt and click that outer edge. E and S, come on out. Now, that's done. Come over here, drop an edge loop right in the middle. Select that outer edge and loop tools circle. Do that again for the outer ring. Three for face selection. Select here, 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 here and delete those faces. All right, so this is what we have here. Select this outer edge again, E and S, come on out. Okay. Give the whole thing some thickness, like this. Select this top and this bottom row, E and scale in the Z. If we have trouble, make sure we go back to median point, scale in the Z. Give it some nice separation from the layer below that. In edge selection, select those and those, those sharp ones. Control B, pull back. If it looks weird, select everything, Alt N, recalculate outside because we have some polys flipped. Now bevel. Give it one or two segments. I'm going to go one because we're going to put on a subdivision surface of two. Shade smooth. And turn that off for the moment. Come back in. Control R right in the middle there. With that last one selected, I'm going to shift and, hold and select all of these. Control B, pull, and roll your mouse down so you just have two. We can go back and have a look at this. I'm going to do one in the middle, like that. Okay, so that's my main part of the gear. And now I'm going to shift a mesh circle. I'm going to use 64 this time. Scale it out. There it is. Go into edit mode, extrude it. However, sort of thick you want this. I want this to be along the middle here. E and S, and come on in. Shift Alt and click on there. I'm going to press I. I again to get little small sections like this. I'm in median point, E and Alt S, and I'm going to push them out. I'm going to switch over to individual origins and press S to scale. Do this kind of thing. Okay, that done, come over to bevel, bevel, and I might just go for two. And I can scale this a little bit bigger. Something like that. Okay, you can experiment with that if you like. It might look better. And I'm just gonna focus on that itself. Scale it down a little bit. And we'll have a look like this. 
And that's what we come up with. You can put that anywhere in there. And if you don't like this, let's make sure we shade smooth. All right, so that's one version of, of a gear that you could use uh, in a steampunk scene.